tactical uh, engineer science, but again, those are really broad choices, and uh, you do get a few powers out of that, though. Uh, where you get your really cool powers from on the ground, though, are your kits. Uh, it really is, uh, you know, it's the kits are uh, uh, equipment. They're items that are that are career restricted. Uh, they're your, you know, your your tactical kit, your science tricorder that really give you your your cool roll powers on the ground and what you end up doing. Andy here has a, a science kit that has a, a stasis field. You can see him locking down these Klingons over here uh, as he attacks the other ones so he doesn't have to worry about those guys. Uh, as you level up, rank up in Star Trek, uh, you end up uh, gaining access to more complex kits, uh, kits that have uh, more abilities, two, three, four powers on them, and uh, kind of really, really cool kits. This is, this is one of the places where you're going to get you know, your ultra-rare kit by doing that, that one mission for that race that has that technology that, uh, that enables that sort of skill. Anybody have any questions about ground? Let me show you some cool customized uh, spaceships. Uh, come back work uh, part of line of sight, or maybe take over behind some stones or something. You can definitely take cover. Uh, one of the things uh, line of sight definitely uh, uh, comes into play, so you can't shoot someone if they're actually hiding. So you do have to get out in the open. Uh, that being said, I mean if you're taking damage, if your personal shield goes down, you can actually jump behind, a, you know, jump behind a crate, jump behind a tree, and your shields will pop back pretty quick, kind of like. Kind of like Halo, kind of just get a real quick pop on your shields. How do you guys handle the difference between because um, it's not dice rolling, right? It's it's for, for the most part it's it's real time combat, but that's yep. really difficult in the MMO environment. How do you guys handle that? Well, it I I mean Andy wasn't Andy wasn't if you saw he, he wasn't targeting uh, critters, wasn't targeting his enemies, uh, you know, by you know using mouse look or anything like that. It was MMO targeting. He did have an enemy target. His avatar turned and faced and shot that target. So it is a lot more like an MMO. Uh, but in terms of how fast it is, how action based it is, well, there is a line of sight, so you can't yeah, take sure. off. Yeah. So, all right, there, there, so there is a combination. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a combination. It's not, I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys didn't think it was like Twitch combat, like an FPS so it's or not anything. Quite, like that. But... Right, right, right. Uh, it's, it's, it's our technology. It's, it's what we do. I mean, it's, it's having an engine that's eight years old, uh, being able to actually do that stuff and having a network code that allows us to have that sort of gameplay. Uh, I mean, play this game. Uh, take a look. Take a look at the ground combat here. Play Champions Online. You'll see how fast the, the game reacts. We've been in the business for, for quite some time. So customization. Uh, wanted to talk about that a little bit too. Uh, total customization is kind of a uh, is kind of a cornerstone. It's like a like a buzzword that we use at Cryptic Studios. Uh, it's kind of a cornerstone for all of the games that we make. We realized really early on with uh, City of Heroes that uh, allowing a player to customize their avatar and their gameplay really, really built up a really strong attachment uh, to, between the player and the character and a really deep uh, role-playing experience. Uh, we really wanted to take uh, total customization to the next level with Champions Online and Star Trek Online. Uh, when you create a character, you choose your alien species. Uh, you can pick a Vulcan, Andorian, Bajoran, you know, Klingon, all the all the races that you know and love. But you can also choose to create your own species, choose what their attributes are, and add that to the universe. Uh, additionally, I mean, you can customize your bridge officers. You can. Uh, Customize your uh, your uniforms. What does red mean to you? Is it commander? You're the first person to die. But, but, the, but these uh, custom uh, these skins are they skins or are they actually parts you buy and install? That also I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Uh, so the ships you can definitely customize the ships too. As you see, Andy pop through all these wonderful ships. Uh, as you rank up, you gain access to different configurations of ships. Uh, there are three major classes, uh, your escort, your cruiser, your science class ship. Uh, all of these parts that you're looking at right now, our goal really was so that you could, you could look at a ship uh, and you can identify what configuration that ship is, but at the same time you have a, a lot of really deep customization options. Like here, you can look at this and you know it's a Constitution class ship. You can that's change... Just, that, that's just so obvious, I mean look at it. It's yeah. so obvious, the Constitution. Yeah. 
And so uh, the nacelles, the pylons, the uh, secondary hull, the uh, saucer, all of that sort of stuff, you know that these ships are all of the same class by looking at it. You can change the, uh, you can change the texture that's on board, you can change the name of the ship, uh, you can change the, uh, the registry number. Yeah, this is the USS Pork Sauce. Uh, the windows, even down to the pod doors, what they look like is really up to the player. Uh, and so really allowing the player to customize you know, their avatar all the way up through the ships. And you hit upon it earlier. Uh, you really want to take that customization idea even to the next level. Uh, like what bridge officers you have, which ones you bring down. Uh, man, even what ship you bring out. As you get new ships, you don't lose access to old ones. So if I feel like taking a Defiant out uh, and doing a lot of DPS, uh, I can do that. If I you know, lost the dice roll and I have to be the healer for my uh, 